Welcome in Blogger tutorial for the beginners. Blogger is an amazing tool that will help you to share your ideas to the world, to write articles that other people can read. Blogger is a simple tool that you can use and in no more than 20 minutes you will know exactly what to do. So let's start and let's click here on a creator blog. So to create a new blog, let's click here create your blog. And then you have to choose your Gmail account. So let's click here on my account that I have. And the first thing that you have to do, just choose a name for your blog. Now, this would be the name that would, like what would be the name of it? Let's say I'm going to do about bakery writing some, well, like what you can bake. So let's say bakery by Marcus. Then I'm going to be clicking here next. This web address is how people will find your blog online. Choose a URL for your blog and I'm going to add an address bakery again by Marcus. And then the, this blog address is available. If it's not going to be available, you need to change it. And then what you have to do is click next again. And then confirm your display name. How do you want your name displayed to readers of your blog? Again, I will have the same by Marcus. And let's click finish. And voila, here we are. In this part, I'm going to show you how you can easily view your blog and also how you can start writing posts. So here, disable the notification that you see here. Just cancel it if you want to. And then under reading list, you would see view blog. Let's click on it. And here you would see always updated version of your blog, blog how it actually looks like when someone is going to click on your blog. Then I'm going to show you how we can add a new post. So let's click here, create a new post on the top left. In the moment when you're going to be here, we need to write a title. So let's say this was, this was going to be introduction to bakery bakery now i'll just copy text here and let's say this is my article that i have and what i can actually do here's the question i can go on the left here and i have compose view or i can choose html view if you understand html you can work with that then we can go undo and redo. So let's say I'm going to remove the text and add it back. Then you have option to choose a font type. So I let's say this beginning, I want to change font type and I can go, let's say Verdana and I can simply choose whatever type I want. Then we have the font size here, medium, large. So let's say that I'm going to write here how it all started and I want to have different font here or let's say this part I want to have different like let's say medium so this would be medium paragraph and medium or large in a the text then how it all started is not going to be a paragraph it's going to be a major heading and look at this, if it's a heading, it's always changing. So major heading would be the first, then we would have heading would be, then what happened can be heading or subheading. It's completely up to you which one you're going to choose. Choose based one which you like the most or normal or let's have it subheading. So this is how you can change the size the font size here and also how we can change the headings now then what i can do is to simply make it bold i can easily make it italic i can also underline it what i can do then i can strike through really simply also, what I can do is when I'm going to take the text, 
I can change the text color. Let's say that this would be red. Then I can change also the text background color. See, so we choose the text color. We, I, we, I also change the background color pretty simply, pretty easily. I can edit all links. So let's say what happened is going to be linked to YouTube video. So I'm going to choose a YouTube video baking. And I'm going to choose this one here. And here I will paste it. And I will have open this link in a new window and apply. So in the moment when people are going to click on it, we will get to the new window. You can also insert image and that's what we are going to do right now. So like here, let's say I want to have image right here. And upload from computer. Choose files. And here I'm going to add a bakery photo. And I prepare. Select. And voila, here we got it. Well, I can click on it. I can center it. I can make it larger. Extra large. But it's too large. So let's go with a large. And then I'm going to see the change. And look at this. I can have alt text and title text for this image. If you want to. So you can also make it smaller, bigger. Completely up to you. How you change it. So this is how we can simply add also the image here. It's nothing really that hard, right? And then what you can do also is to add a video. So we can upload from computer or add a YouTube video. Or then you can add special characters like emoji. That's what you can do. So let me show you how we can add like video here. So let's say I want to have a video right here. Insert video from YouTube. And then I would have search here. And I would have baking. Let's say this one here or like let's say. Select this one. Baking school. But I'm going to make it bigger. And this is how you do it, right? This is how you can add also video. What you can do then is like choose a text. And let's say I can center it to mid, to middle, center align, or left align, or right align, or justify as a paragraph. So again, that's up to you how you choose it. And when we go even further, I can increase the indent or decrease it. This is pretty simple. Then I have a bulleted list. So let's say I would write something that, okay, what do you need to do to have perfect cake? And I can simply go and add bulleted list. One of this, 200 grams of that. Then put it there. So this is just example of bulleted list that you can use. Then again, you can quote the text and you can insert jump break here. So let's say I'm going to have under this, I want to have jump break. So you're going to have like easy sections on your block. Then you can have the more options here and you can left to right layout or right to left layout or input tools from the language. And you can clear for formatting of everything and everything would be uh, on the basics. So know this, right? Everything would be basic. That's how we can, that's what clear formatting means. Now, when you have it, let me show you the further thing. And that's how we can set up post settings in Blogger. Now about post settings. So on the right side, you would see labels here. That you can have labels by commas and change them and add them here. So label would be, let's say bakery. And then I would add multiple labels when you want to have it published let's say it's going to be today or i can have it automatic 
that's straight away or I can set the date and time so I'm going to like automatic permalink automatic or custom if you can have custom it will be a different one you can add it change location here so you can add here And let's say I can simply choose a data right here. Where, where am I? Europe, where are you? So I would choose it right here. And then I would have options, reader comments, and I would allow reader comments. And then what you have to do is I can simply preview the post how it actually looks like so let me see and then when you're gonna see the preview what you can do is simply click publish on the top right this will publish this post to your blog confirm and voila here you have your own own uh, your own posts published here we go so this is how we do it and let me now show you how we can easily when you have the post settings how we can work with the page layout right here so i create additional posts just for the sake of it so i can work better on layout now what i want to show you right before we go and jump to layouts you want to you can also revert to draft you can ap apply labels to posts you can delete the posts or you can view the posts. Now what you can do also view the blog under the reading list. Let's click on that too. And you would find all your posts here that you have. But let me just show you now how we can work with layout. When you're going to click on layout, this can be, this can look really intimidating, but it's not that difficult to understand. So sidebar top would be what we would seeing on the sidebar top. And there is like about me. So I can click on it and show about me. I can have title, welcome in my bakery, save. Now when I'm going to refresh, I can use the profile and I can edit the profile right here. So this is how we do it. Welcome to my bakery would be uh, called a gadget and you can always add multiple gadgets here so as you can see you got option to add adsense to earn revenue from your blog even to add an image pages link text everything and of course you can edit your profile so i would click visit the profile and i can edit the profile right here so you can edit your profile if you want to and this is completely up to you to write here about yourself so when people are, would click on this profile they would see everything here about you now so this is how we can add a sidebar this is how we can also have the sidebar bottom and top so i would have a blog archive labels report abuse so that's how we do it and as you can see this is exactly archive report abuse and let's say that i'm going to add a gadget here and I can add here image, right? So title, baking, caption, link. One, two, three. And you can add a URL here or what you can do is to add followers pages and popular posts or logo or translation or contact form even so now i would click save on the bottom right and then i would click view block and look at this we have a contact form right here on our block so this is the bottom sidebar and top sidebar now what i can do on also on a search top see right here this is the search top i can edit it 
header. I can simply also, this is the header, bakery by Marcus. I can edit that too. And I can add a block description or I can upload the image. So let's say I'm going to upload image of this thing here. Save. And let's say I'm going to refresh the website. Oh, this is the, okay. It will be shown like sooner, but you would find it right here. Then page lists. This is something that we have closed for now, right now, but you can enable the page list too, but we are going to create pages soon enough. And you can configure it if you want to. Then add. This is could would be completely new video. You need to set up your AdSense account. And page body. So featured posts, blog posts, and again you can edit here. Number of posts on the main page. Show labels, so share buttons, and you can really optimize it as much as you want. Then you're gonna see the popular posts here and footer attribution. So what you see in a page layout, you would actually see on your website. And that's how you like use it. Now I would click save here. Oh, I didn't click save, I think. It's saving right now. So I would view the block. And yes, so this is how you do it. Now, when I go further, the next thing I'm going to show you is how you can simply add pages. So what I can do is to simply click on pages and here you can click new page on the top left. So to add a new page, go to top left, click new page here. And then I can simply add a new page. Page number one. And it works literally the same when you're writing a blog or writing a page. So I would add a page one here. And this is a page. And then I can click publish. Yes, I want to confirm. And voila, here we have our own page. And that's how we can do it. Right? Pretty simply, pretty easily. I can view it. And here, this is the page that we're going to have. You can, of course, edit it. And you can preview it if you want to and update it. So pages are a really good thing to have too, if you want to. And yeah, so this is how we can work with pages and it's nothing that hard to like understand. And yeah. Then we have the themes here and how we can actually add the themes. So what you can do is to customize it and choose from multiple themes that you see here. So let's say that I'm going to, I have my theme here. I can simply choose on this one and apply. I can choose, let's say on this one here and I can apply it. Then what I can do is to click on customize it. And now, as you can see, you can change the colors and everything. So this is how it's going to look like bakery by Marcus. I can change the image right here. I can upload my image. So let's say I'm going to upload my image and I'm going to choose this one. Okay, done. Then I can change also the alignment. It's still loading. Then I can change also the main color theme. And then we see the advanced colors. So you see the background color here. And we can have the black one. Or red one. Yeah, I really think that this is not really quality. So I'm going to choose like this one here. Or this one. So advanced, I can change the colors here. I can change the title color.
and here I can change between like black, let's say, or red. I can edit. There are multiple options here. You can change the fonts and literally everything. And you see the make like so many colors that you can change here and you can really optimize it as much as you want for your block. And then you can see the gadgets here. So this is pretty much it how we do it. And this is how we can work with the colors. Of course, you can edit it as much as you want. Now let's go back and I can go to bottom right and click save. Then I would go back. And then I view the block here. And voila, this is how we do it. Bakery one, introduction to bakery. Latest posts, and this would be like my featured posts. And people can like read here about it. And this is how we can simply uh, change it. And now let me show you how we can easily edit the stats and comments where you can actually find it. So the last thing that I'm going to show you is how we can simply find stats. What do you have to do under posts? Click here on stats. Also, what I wanted to show you guys is to find pages. You have to actually add a gadget here. And you can simply like move it and add a pages gadget. Or you can add it to header or next to the search. And let's say I'm going to add a pages gadget here and you would have multiple pages. It would like save here and view the block and see you can find it right here, but you need to really edit that and play around it. So that's pretty much it, how we can do it. And you can add a new page name, new page URL, and that's how we do it. And this is how we can work with pages in Blogger. So the last thing are stats and comments and also earnings. Here you would find the stats of how your blogger is actually doing. Then you would find then under stats are comments. People who wrote comments on your blog that you can reply to or delete. And then earnings. Earnings, you have to connect your AdSense account right here. And this is pretty much it how we do it. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you're gonna have any questions, ask me down in the comments. Blogger can be really intimidating at fast at first, but after a while you'll know exactly what to do about it. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and a goodbye. See ya.